and welcome to another video. This here is my first ever Draw This Again challenge. Back on the 11th of November, it was one year since I uploaded what I considered to be my first ever original character to Instagram. So I thought, oh, let's draw it again and see how I've improved and how my style's changed. And there is definitely a lot of change in style and definitely a lot of improvement as well. Back then I was attempting to mimic a very specific art style that I'd seen online and liked and you know it I'm learning it that really wasn't wasn't me. Um you know I, I had such basic understanding of Photoshop that I didn't even draw the different aspects on different layers so editing any of it was difficult it, it was just a bit of a mess to be honest and after drawing just two I discovered that I could do pretty much the same thing but in a more controlled way over on Illustrator so I then transferred over to that and it, it's only in the last few months or so that I've really got back into Photoshop and, and started to develop my skills there. So here's a, a samurai mouse, or a ninja mouse, sort of, you know, I altered the, the character a little bit for the second one and, and changed the pose, and I know that's often not the way these challenges go, but I, I just I really was not particularly pleased with the first one. You can see from his facial features and, and, and face shape, it, it's quite similar to my previous video with a uh, candy kid. Found in the last few months, uh, not only have I been taking a lot of inspiration from Steven Universe, but also Hamish Steele and his artwork. I absolutely love it. Uh, Dead Endia was one of the first graphic novels that I... I literally sat down one morning with the intention of reading a chapter and just read the whole thing. It was just absolutely awesome. Story, style, all of it. So I've been trying to develop sort of my own interpretation of this sort of, you know, two circles on top of each other, head shape. And the body is pretty much the same except for the arm stance uh, and the way he's holding his swords. He's sort of more in a fighting pose in this one rather than a an idle pose. But yeah, it was kind of just really cool to sort of try and reimagine this character that I drew you know over a year ago now and I kind of moved back into Photoshop recently because I really love the the different brushes that you can use the different styles you can create I still love the very clean look you can get from Illustrator and I'm, I'm getting back into doing that now because I'm you know looking for that in some of my art but this hand-drawn more casual look is also something that I really enjoy and I, I tried to keep it clear that it was the same character, just a more developed version. Oh yeah, and I added in a tail. Like, this was a mouse with no tail. I just, you know, what the hell, man? <laughs> so, yeah, we, we're coming to the end of the line drawing now. I have so much less to say than I thought I had to say. This is always my problem, guys. I, you need to give me some topics to discuss in these videos so I don't have to just sit here babbling constantly but um yeah I went into the color phase and I initially just filled him in in all the original colors that I'd used I'd, I'd saved them previously in a palette and it just didn't look quite right you know it's a different style and although it's more car well, it's not more cartoony it's a different cartoony style but the it was just too bright I, I don't know why exactly it just didn't look right to me so i filled it all in the same and this was back when i was good at keeping palettes small you know recently i've been going wild with my colors um <laughs> i just love color i have done since the day i was born maybe i'll discuss that a bit more in my next video but you can see here i'm starting to sort of alter them slightly and i i definitely prefer the latter version in the sense of the colours, it definitely looks more like a mouse and in a way almost more like a samurai as well. You know, it it's sort of not so comic 
S and more comic book esque, if that makes any sense at all. I really don't think it does, but that was how I felt. So we are, I think, moving on to the shading, because to me that looks like all of the block colouring is done. And this was another thing that I, I tried to do a little bit differently. Um, you know, there were some aspects that I've always shaded in the same way. Eyes, nose, face, etc. But when it comes to the more obvious areas, back in November, December, I was really trying more cartoony style. So rather than just comic book style, more to the point. So you can see, rather than just using my, my brush tool to shade it in, I'm using the lasso to shape out the shapes and then fill them in. And this is something I picked up online, this is something I picked up looking at videos. You know, I, I, I get so much of my, my knowledge and understanding and inspiration from watching YouTube videos and looking at Instagram posts. So yeah, that that's about the shading. And I think other than confidence in general, as I said, I sort of moved over to Illustrator because it was more, there's more stability in a way. You can draw in a more controlled manner, uh, which as a newbie is great. But the one thing that's really improved, obviously, is my confidence. You know, I, I love going onto Photoshop and just sketching really loosely. That was something that even a few months ago, I, I really couldn't do it. Just... Having not really been trained classically, it was just a concept that just didn't make sense to me. But I think the shading is also where I've really improved. And it's a part that I really enjoy. It's a part that I used to have a very rigid sort of, not routine, but method for doing. And now I'm, I'm exploring new things. And it's where I think I'm probably starting to develop my own style the most. You know, the actual characters themselves, the style of the characters, that I get a lot of inspiration from other artists for. But the shading, I'm kind of taking multiple styles and putting them together to come up with my own way of doing it. Overall, I was pretty pleased with this second version of Samurai Mouse. I absolutely love the way that I'm currently shading in his headband and that looked brilliant like I really managed to get the, the sort of curves and the, the fabric uh, texture in it I think which obviously without being taught directly is, is a difficult thing to do um, tongues or something else I love shading I seem to be good at that always have been <laughs> always loved love shading tongues um, and just also the me metallicness of these swords turned out great but yeah um, that's it, and you can you can see the two next to each other here. I, I'm also understanding, I guess, shape, uh, size and proportions a lot better. So the second samurai mouse is much smaller than the other, and you can just see, see the improvements without even having to understand any of any art theory or anything at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe by clicking my little my little goat head down there and you can watch my previous video by clicking it down there. Last week I did forget to add the um the links for a few hours, but I will make sure to remember to do that this time. So, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.